Hey guys, Men's Dating Coach Harry Wilmington here, founder of introvertdatingsuccess.com. And on today's show, we're going to talk about three really big reasons why women leave you. If you're watching this at youtube.com slash Harry Wilmington, hit the like button, subscribe button, and the bell icon to be notified of new episodes. So on today's show, we're going to talk about three really big reasons why a girl that you're dating, your girlfriend, the love of your life may decide to leave you if you're not aware of these things. And it's crucial for you to know these things because women aren't going to necessarily tell you that you're doing these things, but you have to be aware not to do them because they could become big factors in her decision to not stay with you anymore. Be sure to go to introvertdatingsuccess.com, click on the products tab to check out my eBooks, audio books, video training courses, as well as my freebies. And you can also go to the website and click on the coaching tab to schedule a one-on-one coaching session with yours truly. Also, if you find value in what you're hearing today, you can leave a donation at the website to show your support as well. All right. So let's go ahead and get into these reasons. The first really big reason why your girlfriend may decide to leave you is because you have no emotional control. You may have heard before that women like to see their men show and express their emotions, but that's not really a complete truth. Okay. That's more of a half truth because yes, women want you to have emotions, but what they really mean when they say that is they want you to be able to handle her emotions, meaning you're not going to judge her at times when she gets overly emotional, she gets extra sad or she gets out of control or whatever. She wants you to be able to handle that. But in terms of you and your emotions, you need to learn to have less things bug you or bother you when they come up. Because life situations are going to happen whereby you two are both going to get rocked. And if you're not a guy that's able to be a bit more stable in his emotions and to kind of keep your cool and keep things under control, then what can happen is that women will start to see your emotional freakouts as signs that you are not as strong of a man as she thought that you were. And this is not to say things like you can't cry at funerals, or you, if something major happens, you can't actually have it or a reaction, or that if the woman's doing something to displease you, that you can't have some kind of emotional reaction to it. But what it is saying is that those emotions and those reactions need to be tempered and they need to be controlled. And I found the easiest way, honestly, to do this is to not react right away when something happens. Let's say, for example, your woman comes to you and she tells you some disturbing news. Well, she might get the first few sentences out about the news and you're ready to freak out. You're ready to yell. You're ready to say, how dare this and blah, 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 blah. And you haven't even heard out the whole situation, nor have you given the situation time to see if it's going to resolve itself. And so that can result in you, if you're overly anxious, especially reacting in a way that A, doesn't need that strong of a reaction, and B, is making her think that you can't really control or handle yourself, okay? So again, women are looking at men, looking at you as being that calm in a storm that's happening. And even if you feel some kind of way emotion about something, you really need to let things be heard all the way out, let things see how things play out before you have a big emotional reaction. Because there's been plenty of times where I've started to react to something and I say, wait, 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 before I give my reaction to this thing, let me just see what this rest, what the rest of this person's sentence is, what they're going to say for the rest of the situation, or see if I give the situation a couple of days, what's going to actually happen. And so over time, I've done that enough to where I don't get nearly as anxious or react nearly as strong to things because I found that most things usually just work themselves out. And that's the thing that you're going to have to practice to get used to, because if you don't, then your consistent emotional freakouts are not going to make her be trusting of you and your emotions, and she might split. The second reason that your girlfriend may be deciding to leave you is because you're spending too much energy trying to chase her. Now, I know you're thinking, but if I got her, that's ridiculous. Why would I try to chase her? And by that, I mean that you are consistently trying to do things to overly please her. And as much as you think that should be helpful and beneficial, all that makes it feel like is that she's the one that's in control of this relationship. Most women do not want to be in control of the relationship. As the guy, it is your job to set the tone. And it's also your job to be confident, to be bold, to be a leader, to show that masculine frame. Okay. And so a woman's going to be more apt to want to stay with a guy that is doing those things than a guy that is trying to constantly please her, trying to chase her down, trying to constantly call all the time and trying to do things to make sure that she's constantly pleased. These are not things that are going to actually make a woman feel secure in the relationship. It's going to actually make it feel like you're putting her on a pedestal. And women know instinctively on their day to day that they do not actually live up to the high, high standard pedestal that you are putting them on. And so they have a real fear of if they let you down, 
You're going to go back to number one, which is emotionally freaking out and not being able to handle yourself. And so part of being able to show women that you're a guy that is in control and that you're bold and that you're confident is that you have to be the guy that is not chasing her. You have to be the guy that when you state your position, you're stating it and you're not doing things to try to purposely keep her around. It's almost like that thing of like, if you try to do things to purposely keep them, you're going to lose them. Whereas if you're just your normal self, and that's not to say you can't do nice things for women, but if you're just your regular self in your day to day and you're trying to chase after your purpose and your focus, then women will chase after you. And as I always say, if they're chasing you, they can't be replacing you, but you need to be chasing things other than your girlfriend. Like you need to be chasing the, the goals that you have, the dreams that you have for yourself. You need to be chasing a better position for you and possibly her at some point, but chasing after her in any capacity, whether it's during the dating phase or when she's already a girlfriend, is never gonna work for your favor, okay? The third reason why your girlfriend may decide to leave you is because you are starting to show too much feminine energy. What do I mean by that? Well, you might have been one of those guys that fell for this trick whereby women say things like, oh, I want a guy that shows his emotions more, or I want a guy that's gonna you know, watch girl movies with me, or I want a guy that's not afraid to wear a dress or put on makeup, or all these other things that you know, feminist and the media may have taught you is perfectly fine as a guy to do. Those are things that are typically feminine in nature that some guys have started trying to do because they want to prove to the woman that they're, they're secure in their masculinity by being in their feminine energy. But women really don't want you to be in your feminine energy. Like of the two of you, she wants to be the one that is the feminine one, that is the one that is, you know, the pretty one, the one that sometimes gets a little worried about things, but is able to lean on you as the masculine guy to say, hey, babe, it's going to be okay. And hey, she's looking at you, looking for you to be the brave one in the relationship, the one that's going to, you know, if the, if the order comes to the table and it's wrong, you're going to be the one to go to the waiter and say, hey, uh, you need to take this back because this, my girl's order is wrong. Like these are things that as men, women are expecting of us. So when you don't do those things, and now she's the one that has to, you know, ask for her meal to be taken back or to open her own car door or any of the plethora of things that women typically would expect you as the guy to take charge on, and then they have to do it, then what's going to happen over time is as she takes charge of more and more things, she's going to become less and less attracted to you because she's now having to tap into her masculine energy on a more consistent basis than she'd like to because you're leaning more into your feminine energy of just kind of like leaning back and letting her take care of things. And this could be to the detriment of her feelings for you, okay? So there, it, there's a lot of great things about being a guy, but one of the major things that's great is that we're supposed to be the ones that lead the relationship. And the majority of women out there, even if they're going to fight you for it, even if they're going to say like, well, no, I want a guy that's equal to me, blah, 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 blah. The reality is at the end of the day, women that are feminine women are going to want men that are more in their masculine energy and are masculine men. And when you start doing less of those things, or you're trying to always ask her opinion on stuff that you guys are about to do, or doing anything that's going to, again, give off more of a feminine energy, then you're going to lose that woman. And I don't want that to happen to you, okay? Now, what if you're already in a position where this has happened, where you've already started to lose a woman's interest, or you start seeing like, oh, I have been tapping more of my feminine energy, or I have been a little bit too emotional, what can I do? I got a whole book at my website called 10 Steps to Winning Back Your Ex. And it walks you through the steps that you need to do in order to go from this woman like saying, I don't want to be with you anymore. Uh, this thing's over with. We don't ever have a shot to get it together to actually being able to get back that attraction and make your relationship stronger, okay? But one of the things that I talk about is having to really analyze and do work on yourself and realize the areas where, you're, where you've been weak at. And these three areas that I talked about today are some key areas that as a man, you you might have been weaker in or might have start, started to lose a little bit of luster in that could have resulted in her losing you. And these are things that are easy to get back. And I talk about in the book about how to, how to really work on yourself to make sure that you're actually being attentive to the things that caused the relationship to break up in the first place so that she's going to want to come back. But a lot of that means becoming more comfortable tapping into your masculine frame. And I know that's been a thing in society that's been hard because between the also me movement, between feminism and between all these other things that have basically said you being a man equals being toxic and you need to let the women make the decision and yada, 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 all these things that have been pushed by society, unfortunately, have at times caused us to feel like we have to tap into our feminine energy in order to attract women. But as you've probably noticed, feminine women don't want feminine men, okay? So if you want to learn how to get out of that place and you want to learn how to tap back into that masculine energy so that way you can actually attract back these women and not lose their attraction anymore, 
Go to the website, click on the products tab, check out the stuff I have to offer. Definitely check out uh, 10 Steps to Winning Back Your Ex. And in due time, you can get back to that masculine energy and being that masculine guy that a woman's gonna wanna stay with in a long-term relationship. If you found the info in this episode to be helpful, please show your support by clicking on the tip jar tab, the link of which can be found at the website and in the description below. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, and comment on this episode and catch new episodes right here on YouTube or wherever podcasts can be found. In the meantime, be sure to check out these other episodes so you too can learn to date as your introverted self while still getting your precious alone time. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Peace.